What to do with Taft? <laughs> I, I can't get there fast one. enough to get typing anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. I try to figure out what I'm going to use like a squirrel emoji for. Yeah. But I did see a tornado emoji on there. There you go. You, least... That could come in handy for you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Fortunately, we're not talking about any kind of tornadoes around eastern Oklahoma for today or right on through the weekend. And that's great news for Oktoberfest as we are going to see, unfortunately, rain moving in later on this evening. So if you're heading out to Oktoberfest as it kicks off around 5 o'clock, we're going to see cloudy skies, a 40% chance of showers and storms. That chance will increase by 8 o'clock, 60 to 70% opportunity of rain. And then by 11 o'clock, that chance of rain running about 80 to 90%. So a good chance of rain moving in for Oktoberfest by the time it ends later on this evening. Now, first of all, let's take a look and see what we have on Friday night, 7 o'clock, TU taking on the Memphis Tigers. 71 degrees, a kickoff tomorrow evening. We'll see a 40% chance of showers and storms tomorrow evening and cool temperatures as those readings will drop into the 60s during the game. Then on Saturday afternoon, down in Norman, Texas Tech and OU, kickoff at 2.30, about 68 degrees, partly sunny skies, 30% chance of rain and storms if you're headed down to Norman for that game. Or if you're headed over to Stillwater for OSU as they take on the Kansas Jayhawks, same time on Saturday, kickoff temperature around 69, partly cloudy skies and just a slight 20% chance of rain and storms at this time. Well, you notice Stillwater right now in that flash flood watch, as well as Norman, much of central and western Oklahoma under a flash flood watch here for the next couple of days. We're not seeing any watches or warnings here in eastern Oklahoma at this time, but over the next day or so, we could see a flash flood, flash flood watch issued for areas south of the Tulsa area as we expect some of the heaviest rain to fall along and south of Interstate 40 here in eastern Oklahoma over the next several days. Rainfall now across western areas of Oklahoma, quiet though across the eastern half of the state. And as we slide out west, you notice heavy rainfall, the eastern Texas panhandle, eastern Oklahoma panhandle into western Oklahoma, and this rainfall will continue marching off to the east as we move on through the day today. So relatively quiet conditions in terms of rain during the morning, but increasing rain chances as we move through the afternoon, especially this evening. As we take a look at future track rainfall, you notice as we move through the next couple of days, the heaviest of the rainfall out in western Oklahoma, the southern half of the state, southeast Oklahoma over into western Arkansas, some of the lowest numbers we can find here in northeastern Oklahoma up into southeast Kansas. I still expect some areas to pick up between a half inch and an inch and a half of rainfall here in northeast Oklahoma. Two to three inches of rain possible south of Interstate 40 here as we move into the weekend. 62 degrees right now in the city. We're seeing a southeast wind currently at six and some of the coolest temperatures north and east of Tulsa. Low to mid 60s from Tulsa down to the south and to the southwest. And some cold temperatures up to the north. Look at these temperatures behind a cold front that will slide into the area. So that upper level low we've been talking about out to our west as it slides by over the next couple of days. That cold front's going to drop in behind it and it's going to become stationary in southeast Oklahoma that'll give us that continued chance for more rain and storms across parts of the area into our weekend. So on future track, we'll start off with clear to partly cloudy skies this morning, but the general trend will be for clouds to be on the increase as we move on through the day, becoming mostly cloudy. And as we move through the late afternoon, especially evening hours, you notice around 730, we're seeing that rain move into the area and it'll continue through the overnight into the morning hours tomorrow. Then that chance of rain starts to drop off a little bit as we move on into our Friday afternoon, but then rain chances starting to increase again. Friday night on into Saturday morning. As we take a look at highs today, upper 70s to lower 80s out there. So these temperatures still running about 8 degrees above average for the daytime high this time of year. 79 in Tahlequah and Stillwell and southeast Oklahoma, generally upper 70s and lower 80s. A little cooler as you move towards central Oklahoma, a little bit closer to the cloudiness as it thickens up a little faster and we'll see the rain moving into those areas earlier in the day. After the 84 today, we'll see just a slight chance of showers and storms this morning at 10 to 20 percent. Then we'll see a chance start to rise, especially late afternoon, but into the evening hours is where we're going to see the highest opportunity during the day. Near 100% chance of rain overnight tonight in early tomorrow morning. 75 the high. Then we'll see continued rain chances on Saturday. Temperatures staying cool, 60s and 70s. That's a look at your weather. Stay tuned. More news and weather. It's coming up after the break.